Hey guys, how you doing today? It's me, Kelly. So I promised you guys uh, a tutorial on things that you could use for glazing medium. Quite a few of you uh, have been looking through my channel and have found, um, you know, my old glazing medium video. Um, so I'm going to do a quick updated version, but I will also put at the end of this video a clickable link for you guys to go check out that as well. It's kind of long, but hey, if you want to see it, you can. Otherwise, I'm going to shorten it up and do it for you here. Now, for all of you guys who watched my video yesterday with me doing my Buddha painting, um, following Painting with Jane, uh, she uses glazing medium and I have glazing medium from Liquitex. I'm sure there are many, many, uh, things out there, uh, companies, uh, that have, you know, that kind of thing, um, like folk art and, um, oh geez, who else is there? Folk art, Liquitex, Golden, uh, Basics, you know, whoever, uh, Deco Art, all of them have some sort of, um, glazing medium. But do you need to do that? I know a lot of us like me are on uh, SSI. Our money is very, very limited. And you guys want to paint and do this awesome, um, you know, painting and you don't have glazing medium. Now I will be using these techniques throughout my mixed media now. Um, and I will definitely be using the techniques I'm going to show you. So first I want to show you these three. And can you tell what is what? One is glazing medium, the stuff, the real, you know, from Liquitex. One is white school glue and one is Mod Podge because I know a lot of us have uh, Mod Podge around. Now, yes, you can use your gel medium um, and anything else, collage podge, whatever. I um, am using more of a matte one um, because I want to paint over and over it. If you use a glossy one, you might have issues painting over um, unless you use a multi-surface paint, which is a whole other video. So let me show you. So these are the glazes, right? All the different glazes. Can you tell what's what? Well, I'm going to tell you what's what. This is Mod Podge right here. Okay. This is the real Liquitex glazing medium. This is white school glue and that is white school glue. I did two different colors so you can see the, you know, where you can control it. So you can see they all look the same. And this is just white printer paper. No big deal. This is a piece of canvas that I did. You guys remember with the dryer sheets and the texture and the paper towel and all I did. And I'm going to show you. These are the, this, these two colors are just straight on here out of the bottle. This is with the uh, Mod Podge glazing medium. And this is with the white school glue glazing medium, faux glazing medium, sorry. And this is the real deal uh, glazing medium. So can you see there's really, you can really, really play a lot of fun. So I have this and I just want to show you one thing and then I'm going to tell you how to make it because it's very simple. Um, I'm going to go over this blue with a, another color because I want to see. Now you can see here I did two colors. There's a darker purple and a lighter purple, but you do whatever, whatever you want. I'm going to take this purple and I'm going to swipe it over because glazing medium is to go over different parts. And as you do, if you've watched the Buddha video from uh, Painting with Jane, you'll see her use uh, different colors than this, but you'll see her use um, the glazing medium in this way. So you see, so it goes over so you can see it's sheer. So you can see that underneath color. How freaking cool. All right. This is the real glaze. Let's go in with some blue. And you see, you can still see it, but look how nice and sheer that blue is going on there. Look at that. Isn't that fun? So much fun. Now let me grab the real deal, just so you guys can see that I'm not playing around, not lying. Let's do it over here. See? And I could even, even I could have even, oh, Kelly, put the tongue back in your mouth. I could have even made that more sheer, right? But you can see, you still can, del you know, deliciously see that underneath, right? And don't leave this bad boy out, Cal. See, look how sheer that is going on the paper. Beautiful, beautiful, right? So 
you can see you can use either one of these. If you have the glazing medium, uh, that is the, uh, you know, the real medium, um, use it. If you have it in any other brand, use it. Here we go, the white school glue. Here we go, the Mod Podge. And all I did was I squirted out some Mod Podge, right? Put it on my, uh, you want to use like your craft mat or something non-stickable or like a paper plate. I, a, a, uh, I just... I just cleaned out my one palette I used yesterday. You can use a palette, whatever you have. Squirt your uh, medium out first. So this is Mod Podge. So I put a, I put a, about a teaspoon of Mod Podge down. And to that, I added regular blue. Matter of fact, this is uh, my studio dark blue, which is I think the AC Moore brand I had sitting here. And I put like four or five drops in there. I start less usually like three, and then mix it and see if it's what it is. Now I'm going to tell you, you see how dark that looks, and you see how dark the purple is, even the red, but when you put it on, it doesn't come out that dark. Um, so I just put, you know, start with three drops and about a teaspoon of the Mod Podge, mix it up, and then I add more Mod Podge if I want it, or more paint, and you make it to your consistency that you want. Have a piece of white paper, because that's going to be your best... Um, uh, how you're going to see that it's working correctly, right? That it's your, your color that you want. This is white school glue. I did it with dark. So I put down a big blob of uh, probably a tablespoon of white school glue and I put three drops in it here in the darker and two drops in here, mixed them. And then I added a few more drops in each to get to the consistency that I want. Um, after you do your three drops, mix it real well and then uh, test it on your paper. If you want it lighter, add more medium. If you want it uh, darker, add more paint. And then this glazing medium is the same thing. I added... Um, how many drops? I probably did like a, a, a probably a teaspoon of the glazing medium and then a couple drops of red and then same thing, mixed it up, swatched it, wanted it a little lighter, added a little bit more medium. So Mod Podge, white school glue and regular glazing medium. These will all work for you. And like I said, look, this is on paper. I didn't do anything. I didn't gesso it or anything. Now, mind you, yours will be gessoed and you'll be doing paint over paint. So how much fun is that? And like I said, I wanted to show you on here so you can really see. That's, I mean, that's going over colors and texture. So you can really see how it works. And then that's the glazing medium. Now look, I can make this lighter by adding more of the glazing medium to this color. Do you see what I'm saying? So it's really fun because you can play. The only tip I'm going to tell you in whichever that you use, have a bottle of water. Once you mix them, I do this. I do a couple squirts on top and I just leave it sit. And, and start working with the one that I want to work with. Like if I want to go into the blue with the Mod Podge, I'm going to mix it up a little bit. And what that's going to do, it's going to help keep it a little more workable and wet because these are glues and they're meant to dry. Uh, glazing Medium has a um, quick drying time as well. But, uh, you know, I, I do the same thing with that. I spray water on it because I'm slow sometimes. And especially when I'm following videos, uh, I, I get, I'm, I'm a little slow, but, and the water won't really affect it because it's going to evaporate anyway, but look, now I took a lot on here, but look how nice and sheer that is. I love it. And if you want it a little lighter, just go in, this is what I do, and you just give it a little wipe and it's a little lighter. So it could be whatever you want. Same thing with the purple. Mix it up. And you could do the same thing. And look, if I go over, you can see that blue perfectly. Okay. And then we'll go into the red. And I mean, it's this simple. It is this simple. Now listen, if you have any questions, uh, that I did not cover. And like I said, this is red. Now this isn't as sheer as that, but it's just as delicious. There's nothing wrong with it. Let me tell you, I'm going to go over some of that purple now, ideally, and I'm going to give you guys a hint. I'm going to look at that. See how you could really, really play with that. Um, they're just a lot of fun, but let me tell you the big tip I'm going to give you, and this is something um, I might have mentioned in another video, but this is only my second painting 
doing it with uh, painting with Jane. As all of you know, I'm a mixed media artist. I don't do things like this. I don't paint just straight on acrylic. A few paintings I have, but not to this point where I'm following a pattern, so to say. The biggest thing I'm going to tell you is when she says on any of the paintings, let it dry and then move on, let it dry and then move on. As a mixed media artist, um, I don't always let things dry. I put this on and I'm on to the next thing because I'm, I'm for the end goal uh, of the mixed media look, the background and that kind of thing more than this kind of thing. And that is one thing I've learned that you have to let, if she says, let that crap dry, you let it dry <laughs> and then you move on because that's where you're going to get your best shading and your best colors and your best, uh, colors over. Do you see what I'm saying? Cause like right here, this was dry. You can see I painted over it and you can see the blue under this was not dry the purple. So you know what I mean? So all it's doing is blending in. Is that a bad thing? No, but, uh, cause I'll be doing this with my mixed media. Trust me. Um, but painting with, uh, Jane, um, you know, that is, uh, that, that's something I would really listen to. That's really all I can tell you. Uh, don't be afraid. Don't be scared. If it doesn't, mine does not look anything like hers. And I still did it. I did a little neck on it. Who the heck knew? But I did a little neck because my chin came out wrong and I could sit and point out a million things I did wrong. But at the end of the day, I love it. And you will love yours as well. Don't get hung up on every little thing. She's, She's an instructor, an instructor telling you what to do. So do it the way you do it. That makes it yours. You dig what I'm saying? I love this. Um, we're going to be, my daughter's doing one with me um, the next time. She's picking one out. So we're going to start that this weekend. I'm very, very excited. Um, and as well, really quickly, um, I had a couple of you ask if I could do the Buddha on camera. And um, although I love you guys and I think you guys are fantastic and wonderful, I, I, I won't do... I will show the painting with Jane's when I'm done because I'm very, very proud of them that I do them, but she's a very good instructor and I will not take uh, her paintings and do them on my channel because that's kind of shitty because I would hate if somebody did that to me. Um, when I started doing the odd girls and all, I saw a lot of people doing odd girls and all not giving me props. I can't stand that. Um, so, and a lot of you did. I'm not saying, I'm just saying... Uh, a lot of you did not and, uh, or a lot of people did not. I don't know, you know, if you follow me or not, but, um, yeah, so that's not a very good feeling when you do things and try to teach others and then somebody else goes and takes it and tries to do their version of it, uh, of you. So no, I will be doing my own paintings, but not, not with, uh, what I do with Jane, I'm doing with her. And then I like showing you guys the end result, showing you that a crippled, <laughs> A crippled, messed up girl like me with no, with fibro fog and everything else going on can sit and, and uh, learn from her. Now, if you watch her and you, you can't follow her, there are a million different um, artists on YouTube that teach uh, straight acrylic. Um, go look for one that, you know, and maybe you'll be able to follow them. Like I said yesterday, this is who clicked with me. One day it clicked and I was jumping up and down because I've tried other artists and I just, I just don't click with them or dig what they do because I can't do it. It's not because they suck. It's because I could not follow how they teach. Like I said, now that I'm learning through Jane, maybe I can go back and learn, but I'm a weird bird. So, you know, that's all I can say. So don't feel bad. Uh, if you don't learn from Jane, maybe she's just not your, your cup of tea. And, uh, there are many others out there as well. But for me, I love her. I'm so excited. I want her to sit next to me and be my friend and be my little sister. And um, I just love her. And I hope you guys do too. I have nothing in this. I get nothing from her. Uh, she doesn't pay me. She doesn't give me art. She doesn't give me private lessons. She does nothing for me. This is me speaking from my heart to her, about her, to you guys. So Having said that, as always, please be kind to each other because you'll never know about us. somebody else is fighting. Share me around like I'm your loose friend. Share these great techniques because this is a great video for you guys out there just starting and not wanting or not having the money to go out and buy every little medium when you're just starting out and trying. Any questions, please. You know, you can leave the questions down below. You guys can email me. You can hit me up on Facebook. I'm on uh, Twitter. I'm everywhere. Uh, and like I said, share me around like I'm your loose friend. I love it. You guys rock. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoy my videos. And I will see you guys again.
in the next video. And be kind to each other because you'll never know what battle somebody else is fighting. I probably already said that, but that's really heavy on my mind today. And I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.